am back again with the healthy lifestyle tips. We had spoken about two lifestyle tips and a lot of feedback saying that we have been walking more, drinking more water and so we are more fitter. So, chal sahi to hal sahi, jal hai to mal nahi. Keeping these two in view, we move on to the third lifestyle tip which is khana. Of course, it is the brightest color of the rainbow, one of the brightest colors of the rainbow of lifestyle and definitely is a wide wide topic to cover. So I'm sure you all are waiting for me to list down the superfoods that need to be eaten, the best diets need to be proposed. But before all this, I want to talk about something called mindful eating. This is something that we have somewhere lost it. We have become disconnected with food and lost the joy of eating. Isliye, today we would be talking something which has led to this. And I believe that the biggest culprit to this is gadgets. And so today taking out a leaf from mindful eating, I would like to discuss the time spent on gadgets. We are spending way too much time on gadgets. Morning, since morning when we wake up till we sleep, we are simply staring at gadgets. I have clients coming over who say that yes, at night they keep scrolling through gadgets because wo, that is their me time. Ye to time hai for myself. But actually giving it a thought, is it really the time that you spend with yourself? Or have you lost some yourself somewhere in that sea of social media? ये gadgets एक ऐसे culprit हैं जो हमें भुला देते हैं हर चीज चलना पानी पीना time से सोना time से खाना everything we just forget when we are connected to them so are are they really worth it there are lot of clients who come over and tell me that they have been following rigorous diets diets just with juices just with soups or have been totally on salads they have had the mental strength to say no to all the good yummy food lying in front of them. They have been lusting over food yet have been able to decline and deny the food. Yet these mentally strong people also did not have the mental strength to say no to gadgets while eating. We have literally become slaves to gadgets. One sound from them sends us flying to reach out for them. And then scrolling through the notifications, the WhatsApp or maybe taking a call for business or anything else just makes us forget what we are eating and how much we are eating. Ye to pata hai nahi ki kya kha rahe. Lekin ye zaroor pata hai ki keto diet pe hai, gluten free hai, low fat hai, no carb hai, this we all know. And the same attitude we are building up in our kids also. We are literally gluing them to the TV and then force feeding them. These kids which eat unmindfully grow up into adults who do not have any, uh, you know, uh, kind of sensation of their physical hunger, nor do they recognize the satiety levels. We as humans always have been born with these sensations of recognizing our hunger and our satiety levels. You must have all seen infants wailing out for food. That is when they are hungry, they definitely cry out. And when they are satisfied, no one can force a single morsel into their mouth. But somewhere, just getting connected to these gadgets, we have become disconnected to our food. The food which has been prepared with so much of love, which has taken so much time to be prepared, vanishes from the plate in two minutes. We do not rejoice it, we do not relish it, nor do we connect, to with, connect with it. Because actually these gadgets have just disconnected us. These smart gadgets have made the smart you into a dumb box. Rather, I also see that people have now become addicted to two screens. They need the laptop or the TV in front of them and along with that they need the phone. They need the screen of another gadget to keep, uh, you know, looking into both of it. So this addiction is getting carried too much. Even in social gatherings, we are uh, uh, surrounded with so many people but we are actually cut off from them because we are too connected to the gadgets. I have so many times noticed a family going out to, for a, a meal, a dinner at restaurants. But instead of sharing that 
uh, meal happily they are busy with their selfies their stories their status updates and so on all that storytelling time the uh, light discussions at meal times the caring and sharing has all been lost into the soaps the status the stories the selfies and so on which these gadgets have piled upon us so it is definitely time to rethink and rechange the time spent on gadgets so while i come back with the next video talking about the art of eating the mindful eating the methods of eating i want you all to give a thought on how much time are you actually spending on the gadgets and how actually are you eating your meals do put in your feedbacks subscribe to the channel like the video and keep the bell notification on to get the next video notified about thank you bye bye